Yo, we're doing another feeding video. Raw food for your dog. Easy stuff, easy enough at least. Um, we're not gonna do anything super crazy today, just a standard meal, standard raw food. Uh, this is the diet I feed my uh, Czechoslovakian wolf dog. I feed him it um, once a day. Right now it's about 11.30 I think. We just finished doing two long sessions of training. I did a little workout, took a shower, and now we're gonna feed the dog. Pretty easy stuff. Um, got our two bowls, water, food. Again, we're gonna use a little bit of uh, rolled oats. There'll be one thing. Some fish oil capsules. Now, I'm not adding this today, but I'm, I will do a video with it in the future. This is just Centrum, normal ass Centrum. Uh, good for people, good for dogs. And then again, for anyone who's seen this before, this is just calcium. So just calcium citrate uh, without, without D3. So calcium citrate, you can buy this shit online. Really, really cheap, tons of it. Uh, it's non-GMO, if you care about that. There's no gluten, it's just calcium. Nothing else, just calcium. But remember, I'm gonna say this again, I say it all the time. I'm gonna be parroting the same person that I, you know, that I learned from. It's like, don't, it's gonna sound like a broke record. Don't buy calcium with D3. Your dog can't have calcium with D3. Maybe, maybe it could, but I wouldn't do it. Um, and as far as everything I know and I've learned, you don't want calcium with D3. You just want pure calcium citrate, okay? Simple. Calcium with D3 is made for humans who are deficient in D vitamins. You, you're, you don't need it for your dog. Get calcium without D3. Don't worry about the why. Just know, do not get calcium with D3 and feed it to your dog. Cool, easy, right? Easy? Right. Today we're gonna do a different, a different meal. We're gonna use beef kidney. We're gonna use chicken feet. And we are going to use liver. Beef liver. Now all of this stuff can be gotten really, really cheap. The uh, hardest part of any of this is just, I think, prepping and packaging it, which isn't hard at all either, so. Um, be careful when you're breaking up chicken feet too. The nails on the chicken feet, they stab you before, it doesn't feel fucking good, it feels real bad. All right, so with regards to the kidney and the liver, the kidney and liver is organ meat. That's good for your dog. Uh, your dog, you know, canine is just, just a descendant of the wolf. My dog in particular has almost a quarter of wolf DNA, uh, wolf blood, so he's definitely close to a wolf. But it's the same thing with a dog, right? If you, um, if you pay attention to how dogs hunt in packs, the one who's the, the alpha for the day or the one who gets the first go at the food, usually the alpha. Um, wolves in the wild, they go, for the, they go for the organs, quick. It's a really high nutrient item and it is very, very uh, highly sought after. So a couple times a week, I'll do some beef kidney, which I've chopped up already. I might do a bigger piece than this. Probably two pieces like this, a piece of liver um, and then chicken feet for bone and a little bit of added calcium. Ooh. Gotta rinse off the... I like to rinse these off since they're frozen. I rinse them off so that the calcium will stick to them a little bit better. Also, I've got these wrapped individually in, uh, in plastic, so it's nice to use the water to make sure I don't pull any plastic and leave any behind, because I, I definitely don't want to do that. Give me one more second to do this one. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. 
just like we want. So yeah, piece of liver, piece of kidney. We're gonna get some, uh, we're gonna get other stuff in there. One more piece, one more piece. Now, I would highly suggest, highly suggest um, <laughs> individually preparing this stuff if you get it. It is really hard to cut through a uh, big old thing of kidney when it's frozen uh, and the liver is no different. Now, I sometimes give my dog the, li the beef liver uh, non-frozen. He likes it like that too. But we froze it because I don't want it to get out of sorts. I don't want it to be a problem. And then, We'll probably do like five of these bad boys. But first things first, before the chicken feet go in, we've got our organ meat here. Now remember, organ meat doesn't have bones, right? Organ meat has no bones. The kidney has some type of uh, scar tissue type of thing, tissue and some bone type material, but it's not a real bone. So what we're gonna do is, I'll just leave that there. We're gonna take these, right? And we're just gonna, we're gonna dust them up, as I like to say. Dust these bad boys up, you can toss them around like that. A lot of dogs will get clever. My dog definitely gets clever enough to, to drop <laughs> the food to try to knock off things like this calcium and the other stuff like the oats, but that's why we just, we dust them up. He's not gonna get past it like that. And like I've said in the past, you don't want to overdo the calcium a lot, but I would always err on the side of more than enough than not enough. Rather, better to have more than enough than not enough at all. But yeah, as you see, I'm just dusting this shit up like that. I'm gonna hit these chicken feet real quick with some water. Now, feeding all this stuff frozen is not a problem. I do it like that on purpose, but I also like to, um, I like to get everything a little wet so that things like, you know, things like the oats and the calcium will stay on there. Here's our oats, right? Big old fuck, here we go. Done. That's all we need for the oats, nothing crazy. Don't do too many oats or your dog's gonna end up getting the shits and you're gonna be like, why did my dog do that? And it's gonna be your fault. Uh, and while I'm on the topic of raw food, since you guys pretty much know how to get this done, let me just say, like, a lot of people think they're going the extra mile for raw food and all they're doing is wasting money. Uh, and most of the time, they're not even getting real raw food. Some of the things people buy, you know, you're buying crap. You're buying crap that's being marketed to you as raw food because that's becoming popular now. my stuff went so we've been I've been remodeling the kitchen and the bathroom and just painted yesterday for those of you who have seen my other videos it used to be white on the wall back here now it's yellow <laughs> so I'm adding these uh, fish oil capsules be very careful when you do this I mean you can get fish oil on yourself but even worse you could stab yourself if you're using a knife like me so be careful get yourself a pair of like scissors from the 99 cent store it's a lot easier Okay, so, so far we got everything we need. We got calcium, we've got bone in chicken feet. We've got some rolled oats. We got two, three pieces of organ meat, two pieces of kidney, and a piece of liver. All right, this is what it looks like when it's ready. Nothing special, but for the dog, I mean, it's gonna be awesome. He's gonna love it. And then everything just goes back in the freezer. And we're ready to rock. Let's go check on the dog, see if he's sitting on his spot. Here we go. Look at that good boy. You're being very good. Sit. Sit. Let's 
So that's the full meal. We're gonna have him sit here while we get the water, huh boy? Sit. Okay, dog, sit. Not the best production value right now. I left my tripod over at the other house. Good, good, sit. Oh, sit. No, sit. Oh, yeah.